if we have the tape available. We, if we do, we'll show it to you. You can see the second plane coming in from the right side of your screen, going into the tower itself. This is an extraordinary and troubling piece of tape. The Justice Department is now being evacuated. The second attack on the Trade Center occurred about a half an hour or so after the first one. We have a report, CNN has been told, that an American Airlines 767 jet was hijacked out of Boston today. We don't know which of the 67 uh, Boeing plane, and it was out of Boston. It was apparently hijacked from Boston. That was the first crash, and that happened just after 8 o'clock. The second crash that we've showed you quite a few times <laughs> from the 56th floor. Uh, do you have an idea of how far along the evacuation had gotten at the point the second tower came down? Jim, I was trying to ask her that. Is if they felt safe to, to be there, although you know, I don't know what it looks like on the ground at, at that part of the city right now. Mm. And right. Melissa, we would assume that what you are seeing in the way of preparedness at St. Vincent's is being repeated by the smoke inhalation in, in and around the World Trade Center because of that second building falling in. All right, Whitney, thanks very much. The problem's not just here in New York, as we've been reporting mm -hmm. to you all morning long. And now, word from the State Department, as it had already been evacuated because of what had happened here in New York City, that... There's a possible explosion there as well. So quickly to recap the chronology as you look live at the scene of the one remaining tower of the World Trade Center. We had a plane crash from a plane hijacked out of Boston just before 9 o'clock. It, it, uh, it hit Tower 1 of the World Trade Center. Then a second crash 18 minutes later, what we have heard from the Associated Press, was a plane out of Newark. Then a third crash at the Pentagon in Washington, D.C. And a fire at the Washington Mall. And now... A fifth word that uh, there was an explosion at Capitol Hill, which had since been uh, evacuated. And now the sixth incident right now, the State Department apparently had been evacuated as all this was going on, only to find out that there's been a possible explosion there as well. And, Michael, I've been told by our guest here, Michael Hirschman, who's the president of an international security and counterterrorism firm, that there's an unidentified aircraft approaching an airport in northern Virginia, possibly Dulles or Washington National Airport. Authorities there are scrambling to find out about that aircraft, an unidentified aircraft circling and approaching an airport in northern Virginia. We're not sure which airport that is. Uh, you have Dulles there. You have Reagan International and um, George, uh, actually those are the two, hot, two airports there, scrambling to find out the nature of that aircraft. Can you tell us any more, Mr. Hirschman? Only that it's an unidentified aircraft approaching Northern Virginia. Okay. What, what is it that, uh, that security can, can do at this point as they monitor that flight? Well, my information, and of course all of this is unconfirmed, you can imagine the, the state of confusion sure. right now, but my information is that they're scrambling jet flight fighters out mm -hmm. of um, uh, local uh, military air. Michael, we'll come back to you in just a couple of moments. I hate to interrupt you. Let's go to Cindy Shue, who's in the newsroom. She's got a further update. Cindy? Okay, Michael, we have information from uh, the Pentagon evacuation. General Richard Myers, Vice Chairman of the Joint Chiefs of Staff, said that prior to the crash into the Pentagon, military officials had been notified that another hijacked plane had been heading from New York area to Washington, and that's according to the AP. Also, we were talking about the State Department being evacuated, and it is because of a possible explosion um, or fire there. We're trying to get more information. And then locally here, we're hearing from Beekman Hospital that everyone has been called in, administrative, uh, doctor nurses and that they are getting people um, from everywhere into that hospital. It's now called the NYU Downtown Hospital, and uh, that's all we have here right now, Michael. Sure, and along those lines, Cindy, the fi every firefighter has been called in, called in off vacation, called in off their days off to come in and help assist with this major, enormous uh, nationwide tragedy here. So all firefighters have already supposedly been reported, uh, have been called in, and hopefully as many firefighters as possible are helping assist with this, as in all doctors and nurses and hospital support staff. A horrible situation all the way around and a quick reminder for parents is there are schools in that area mm -hmm. in PS the financial district. PS right. We have received word apparently that the students though in those schools are okay. Mm -hmm. That's what we're hearing and we're also hearing that parents can 
How they get there at this point, we don't know, but right. can go get their children if you're able to get there. Obviously, the area is still very dangerous, mm -hmm. so we caution you against taking an, uh, any unnecessary action. However, if it's your child, we certainly understand. Yeah, we certainly Absolutely. would understand. But keep in mind that what you're seeing on your screen right now is live. Mm -hmm. This is not tape at all. This is the only remaining World Trade Center tower. The other collapsing not too long ago. Both victims of plane crashes. The second, uh, the tower rather that has collapsed, though we are told, collapsed because of a third explosion. explosion. The source of that, though, at this point, we don't know. Now, uh, let's go back to that story that you had mentioned a moment ago. There are six instances that we've been reporting. We have the crashes at the Trade Center, a crash at the Pentagon, a fire at the Washington Mall, and an explosion at Capitol Hill, as well as one at the State Department. And we just received late word of a suspicious plane. Mm -hmm, exactly. A suspicious plane approaching an airport in northern Virginia. Trying to try and button up some of this. Uh, we had a report earlier that we now, uh, uh, we believe we could tell you is not correct, that there was an explosion at the Capitol. Uh, there was none as we, we now believe. There was no explosion at the Capitol. There w Air travel routed to Canada has been f international flights going into, into the United States or into Canada, guys into the United States. International flights headed for the United States are being sent to Canada now to airports there as all air traffic in the United States has come to a halt. The FAA has shut down every... That means there were two explosions, one of which was a car bomb. At this point, the AP only saying that there was an explosion outside the State Department. It was a car bomb as we continue to keep close eye on all the events happening throughout the United States today. New York City schools, we've just been told, are in lockdown. New York City schools are in lockdown, meaning, of course, that no child is going out anywhere. They're going to be remaining safe inside their schools. No doubt they have emergency plans in place, and they are implementing them right now. We do have our CBS2 crews on their way. We have Rose Walia out at Bellevue Hospital. We had Whitney Casey at St. Vincent's Hospital. John Slattery was one of the reporters who was we're going to do is we're going to turn back to the to the tower right here. We're going to send it back to you. And of course, what everybody is thinking is that our prayers are with the people who are in that tower. Back to you. Okay, thank you, Joe. Get an Let's, update on the State Department real quick. Uh, it, it apparently, it was a car bomb that exploded outside the, the State Department. That's according to senior U.S. Mm -hmm. law enforcement officers. Uh, the State Department had been evacuated uh, previous, apparently, to this bomb. So one can only assume that the people that were in that building got out um, safe and sound. We certainly hope that they did. Uh, let's go to Walter Perez. Um, Walter is downtown in lower Manhattan. Okay, now, as you can imagine, Ralph, now, as you can imagine, it is a pretty frenzied scene out here just a few moments ago. I'd say about 20 minutes ago. We're not sure exactly what it was. We have not confirmed it, but something either exploded or fell off the side of the one building that was attacked and caused a massive plume of smoke. As we turn left, you can see there's a trucks go by that they are spitting off smoke. These were the emergency trucks and ambulances that were near the building at the time that that had happened. At that point, it wasn't so much of a frenzied scenario because people were walking away from the building. This entire region has been cordoned off and people who are working in nearby buildings were told to leave and evacuate the area for obvious reasons for safety concerns. When that second plume of smoke came up from the ground area, people started running. People were covered in soot. There were people with blood on their shirts, uh, rips in their shirts. And at this point, looking up at the top of the building at a rate of about one every five minutes, you see people that are jumping from the top of the building. It is an absolutely harrowing scene, harrowing scene at this point. Uh, police officials told us to evacuate the area that we were in. We moved about two blocks further, but the scene is very, very similar. Plumes of smoke all around the area and people not exactly sure what's going on. All the telephone lines are jammed up as people are trying to communicate, not just police to other people, but folks who saw what happened, trying to communicate uh, loved ones and let them know that they're safe. So it's a, a very hectic situation at this point. As we gather more information and we're sure we're settled where we're supposed to stop, we'll get back to you because at this point, police are still not sure where we should be. And as you you can see a lot of police activity. They're trying to move the media to a safe area so we can do proper reporting and let everybody know exactly what's going on. For now, back to you. Walter, have they given you any indication? I'm sorry, he can't hear me. All right. Uh, we just we simply do not know who has been hurt and what casualties might have occurred, which is the yeah. information that we are. Uh, I want you to take a look at what's happening yeah. right now. Well, that is a live picture. That's, World that's a live Center picture, too. That's World Trade Center, too, has just collapsed. That's the second oh of the my towers God. to collapse. We are now looking at 
and the collapse of the second of the world trade towers tr world trade for this city for this country um many government offices in those towers amazing video as you're watching it now it's not video it's live it's right before your very eyes the this world is trade center is gone ladies and gentlemen it um both buildings collapsing from apparent terrorist attacks. And we want to just take you through this. The first explosion happened right after 8 o'clock this morning. We're being told that a plane was hijacked from Boston Airport. It flew into the second tower of the two. Let's get out of here, Ralph. We're going to leave because of smoke is coming right at us. Obviously, this is a devastating They're moment gone. Look in at our that. history. They're gone. The World Trade Center is, is no more. What we do wrong? not know at this point uh, the extent of injuries or casualties, uh, how many people were in these buildings trying to get out. We've seen some gut-wrenching descriptions, witness uh, accounts of people hanging out of windows, jumping, trying to get to safety. You see the obvious. Look at the plume. All right, let's go smoke. to NBC News right now. We are back at 10.30 Eastern Time on this Tuesday morning, this horrific, incredible, not-to-be-believed Tuesday morning. You are looking at live pictures of the World Trade Center where just a few minutes ago, within the last minute actually, the second Twin Tower collapsed. Just to recap, if you're just joining us, around 8.42 Eastern Time this morning here in New York City, a plane crashed into the right Twin Tower of the World Trade Center about two-thirds of the way up the building, leaving a huge gaping hole, a huge fire, and tons of billowing smoke. About 25 minutes later, a second jet, believed to be a 727, 737 or a 737, some reports of a 757 even. then crashed in the second twin tower. The first plane, incidentally, was en route from Boston, Massachusetts to Los Angeles. Here's the video, I think, of the second plane striking the tower. That's right. We're not sure the origin of that plane is my understanding. The first plane that caused that hole on the right-hand side in the other Twin Tower was from Boston to LAX to Los Angeles. It was Flight 11, American Airlines. We have confirmed that that plane was hijacked. What happened following the hijack, hijacking rather, is unclear. We should note that about an hour after the first collision at the Pentagon, reportedly another plane crashed into the Pentagon, which is just outside Washington, D.C., in northern Virginia. All air traffic has been stopped. Government buildings have been evacuated, as have other buildings across the country. The Sears Tower in Chicago was evacuated. You can imagine that other buildings in major cities and small cities around the country are probably being evacuated as well. There's an unconfirmed report of a car bomb at the State Department. We have not been able to pin that down. Uh, there is also, Jim Kloszewski was told, that there was an unconfirmed report of another air hijacking. We share this with you, not in an attempt to in any way exacerbate what is already a terrible situation, but so much has come true today based on these early reports that we want you to have as much information as we can possibly get at the Pentagon. All people outside were told to take cover just moments ago, but Jim Mikloszewski said the skies were clear. There was an unconfirmed report of another hijacking with a plane headed towards Washington. Again, we don't want to sound alarmist, right. but that is something that Mick heard while he was at the Pentagon. We also want to mention that the president is en route from Longboat Key, Florida, where he was there to visit an elementary school to talk about literacy. Obviously, clearly, his agenda has changed dramatically. He will convene a meeting of the National Security Council as soon as he gets home. Colin Powell is also on his way back from Lima, Peru. He was scheduled to be in Bogota, Colombia. And probably not at the White House. They'll probably take him to a safe location. There are a number of them, some in the hills of Virginia, as you know. And my guess is that Air Force One is in the unusual situation of having a fighter plane escort on its way back from Florida today. Well, That's where we stand. Think about the, the, the loss of life that we could have seen this morning. If you think about the fact that when full, the World Trade Centers hold about 50,000 people, no telling how many people were at work before 9 o'clock this morning and then shortly after 9 o'clock in the other tower. But if you look at this picture here, Tom and Katie, at Lower Manhattan, it appears that terrorists have succeeded this time in, in doing what terrorists tried to do back in 1993. This is war. Uh, this is a declaration and an execution of an attack on the United States. 
two of our most conspicuous symbols of the American system of capitalism. The Pentagon, which of course is the headquarters of the most mighty military in the world, was attacked today as well. Uh, the White House has been evacuated. The State Department has been evacuated. Financial markets have been immobilized. All flights taking off after these attacks were grounded. International flights have been uh, sent it to Canada. It turns out it's transatlantic flights transatlantic. only going to Canada now. So there has been great 